Yes, a $500 bootcamp in conjunction with the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certification is definitely enough to get a job in cybersecurity, if not IT. However, it does really depend on the quality of your execution during and after the bootcamp, which is what I'm gonna cover in this video. And just as a disclaimer, this person's actually asking about the cybersecurity bootcamp that I personally teach. But what I'm about to talk about doesn't necessarily apply to only my bootcamp. You could substitute that in for Sanders bootcamp or Gerald Auger's GRC course, or even like Blue Team level one. As long as the program is of decent quality, it applies. And before we get started, as usual, I'll be doing another $25 Amazon gift card giveaway. If you'd like to enter in a chance to win that, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and leave a comment below with the word cyber in it. So if you're interested in working in IT or cybersecurity, but you don't really know where to start, this video will at least give you something to think about. For those who don't know, the commenter is talking about Google cybersecurity program they released earlier this year. It's really comprehensive and it covers pretty much everything in terms of entry level cybersecurity and it covers everything that security plus covers and more it's just a really decent program google's program does have some hands-on components it's pretty good you work with the virtual machines a bit and do some other things in kind of a sandbox environment and then contrast this with my course my course is kind of designed for people who already have like some cybersecurity foundation and it focuses really heavily on hands-on components and we do a lot of stuff in like a live environment with live attack traffic over the internet and we also focus really heavily on the job hunt execution portion with like your portfolio, interviewing your resume and those kind of things. My course also has an internship component where you can put actual experience on your resume and then use me and my company as a reference. So of course, with the Google cybersecurity program and all of their cybersecurity fundamentals in conjunction with my program, like the hands-on component and experience generation, absolutely you can find a job in cybersecurity, if not IT. And a bunch of other people have done this already. It's not necessarily the, the certification that you get from these programs that help you get jobs in interviews. Rather, the idea is you go through these things and implement everything that's being presented to you and taught implement them properly, it's going to kind of raise up your skill or your stats in different areas. And because of this, it kind of makes it easier for you to find jobs and then be successful in your interviews and subsequently find a job. I really want people to get out of the mindset that they can kind of get a credential and then exchange it for a job. That's not really how it works. You shouldn't be asking yourself like, oh, do employers recognize the Google cybersecurity program? Like, I guess it's an okay question to ask, but rather you should kind of think about what's inside of the program and if you implement it like how is that going to increase your chances to get an interview and then be successful in the interview having the cert in and of itself can help you get an interview like just having cissp for example is going to help you more than not having it and having security plus is going to help you more than not having it but there's a lot more things you have to worry about and the google cybersecurity program and then my program if you implement those properly it's going to make your stats crazy and then you'll be able to at least easily get interviews and hopefully pass the interview if you you know implement everything that's talked about in both of the programs to kind of beat a dead horse like rushing through google's program or like rushing through my boot camp and like getting the certification or rushing through security plus or cheating on it and getting the cert is like not really going to help you that much i mean having security plus like might help you a bit because people know what it is but you need really need to like absorb the things in those programs and like put them into practice for full effect for example, if you rush through my bootcamp and you don't really do any of the things I talk about, you just kind of go through the motions in the lab, probably your technical ability is gonna raise up a bit. But if you go through it and kind of do all of the things I recommend, it's really gonna raise a lot of your stats, like your communication, your interview ability, your technical ability, your resume is going to be really, really good. Your portfolio is going to be really good. And you're just going to be really well prepared to find a job. You have to like really utilize the program the way I kind of intended people to use it. And I just wanna reiterate the fact that this doesn't have to be my course and it doesn't have to be Google's program. It could be, you know, Security Plus again, in Sanders program or some other, you know, blue team level one, and then Gerald's program, as long as you like take these things and execute on them really, really well, it's just going to help you out in the end. And you're, you're definitely going to be able to find a job if you're doing the right things and kind of thinking about things in the correct way. And I will say for those people who don't want to spend money, it's entirely possible to do this stuff for free. 
you can almost get the Google Cybersecurity Professional certification for free if you like somehow finish it in seven days. And then my course, you can basically emulate it for free since the curriculum of my course is public. It's just gonna be kind of pain in the ass to implement by yourself, but you, you can probably do that for free as well. I'll definitely check out this video where I talk about how to build a, a God tier resume. I kind of talk about that a bit more in this video. So definitely check that out. In the end, the only thing that really matters is the 12 pillars of employment and kind of how good your stats are in relation to the type of job you want to get. The whole reason my course exists and other content creators as well, whether they realize it or not, is to kind of help you raise up your stats in a convenient way. It's totally possible to do that on your own terms for free, but we just kind of package up something that's you know nice and easy for you to follow that might save you some time. So just do a gap analysis on yourself, as in look at where you are now, look at where you need to be, and then kind of figure out a way to close that gap and elevate yourself to you know get whatever job it is you're trying to get. Don't forget about the $25 Amazon gift card giveaway. To enter, all you gotta do is like, subscribe, and comment below with the word cyber in your comment, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.